What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and welcome to another Play Canvas tutorial. So let's go ahead and open up our project. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is add a new um, item to our scene. So we're gonna add a new coin object. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new asset. Actually, no, we're gonna do it up here in the hierarchy. Let's go ahead and add an entity to our scene instead. And we're going to add a primitive cylinder. All right, so now we have this cylinder down here. Let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit. And we want this to be a coin, so this is a little too big to be a coin right now. So let's go ahead and scale it as well. Uh, if this is going to be 0.3, this can be super thin, and this can be 0.3 as well. That way it's a nice little coin shape. Maybe a little bit thinner here. Yeah. And then we need to rotate it. Uh, that's not the right rotation. That's not the right rotation. This is the right rotation. So we're going to change this to 90. I'm going to have this one at 0. This one at 0. Great. So now we have a coin. Uh, we need to give a material to this coin, so let's go ahead and create a new material, and we'll call this coin, right, map, coin, and let's go to diffuse, let's choose a color for this, so we're going to choose a yellow, Yeah, something like that, kind of a goldish yellow. And then we're going to add some um, effects to it since we learned some material stuff. Let's go ahead and go to Specular. Uh, let's use Metalness. And now you can see that it's metallic. Uh, if we want to see what it looks like on the coin, we can drag this onto the coin. And you can see now that it's on the coin. We can um, adjust this and say how metallic we want it. Maybe like halfway. We could also make it glossy. If we'd like and choose how glossy we'd like it to be as it rotates and affects, um, is affected by light. Um, and you can also make it emissive if you want it to have it shine light off of it, which is kind of a cool touch. We're going to make it um, yellow emissive and make this at like 0.2 intensity. So it's not super bright, but that way it affects the scene around it. So now we have this coin. Um, we wanted to do something. So let's go ahead and add a component and let's add a new script. And we'll call this rotate. All right, so now we have this rotate script down here. We need to add it here, so we're gonna um, make sure that it shows up underneath our object, and then we're gonna edit this script. All right, in the rotate um, update function, we're gonna type in this dot entity dot rotate, and then we're gonna be able to put in three parameters here. So we're gonna put, uh, I'm going to try 1.0.0. Uh, so we're going to move it on the X axis. And then this is the Y axis and this is the Z axis. So hopefully this is the right one because it might just be rotating the other way. But let's try it. Let's go ahead and save. And then hit play. Nope, so it's not currently visibly rotating. Um, what I think is happening is it's rotating on the wrong axis. So let's go ahead and close this and try the other ones. So I'm going to set this to 0 and set this to 1. And we'll try this. It might just be on the other axis, but hopefully it'll be the right one. There it is. And now it is rotating. Um, we can change the direction or speed of the rotation using code as well. So we could put a negative 1 to make it go in the opposite direction, or even a negative uh, 2 to make it spin twice as fast. Let's save that and see how that looks. All 
There we go. And now you can kind of see the glossy shine that we're getting off of it. So let's go ahead and close this. And let's make it a little bit more glossy and see how it looks. And more metal. Metal. Glossy. Play. Eh, I kind of liked it when it was only like half metal. So let's lower that back down. Great. So now we have a coin in our game that we can code and collect it in a, in a bit. But um, before we do that, I wanted to show you a um, really cool trick um, that I learned on how to move content from one project to another project. So what you want to do is um, go ahead and go to your projects page, obviously. And here I have two different projects. I'm currently in my first project. Um, I'm going to open up my second project and go into the editor. Now let's say uh, this is a completely different project. It's a different branch, but I really like that coin object and I want to use it in this project. Um, what we want to do is click on that coin. Um, and copy over the data to this other project. So we're going to make it a template. So let's make this a new template. And it's called Cylinder. So it's right here. We're going to name this coin. And then I'm going to click on the coin. And I'm going to click on Mac Coin. I'm going to right click and copy. And now in my second project, I can right click and paste. And now you'll see I have the coin here and the rotate.js script and the mat. And even though I'm in the second project, I can drag this coin in and I could drag it up. And if I hit play, this second project now has that exact same template, uh, completely working with scripts, materials, and everything. Um, but yeah. So I think I'm going to cut this one here. And um, in the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to script an interaction that can start keeping score. So we'll, when you run into the coin, it deletes the coin and adds points to the player's score. Uh, but yeah, thank you for uh, watching. And if you have ideas for the next videos you'd like to see, please uh, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.